Hey everybody, what's up? We're here with a timeless reading. Welcome. Okay, first card that we have out is Seven of Cups. What's this about? Seven of Cups can be like an unclear time or an unclear situation. It can be a moment where there's something that you're trying to figure out, but you feel like there's sort of a bit to sort through. There can be resistance that's making this a bit more difficult. It's making this like thicker. Meaning, more difficult. You could be in the process of trying to figure out how you feel right now. I'm gonna clarify. Why is Four of Pentacles here? Hmm. We have Uranus and we also have Neptune here too. This is the feeling of being stuck. Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles. However, I'm seeing the sun over here. So this feels like when we're in an unknown or unclear situation, we can have a tendency to try to grab onto whatever we're seeing to sort of like stabilize us or give us a sense of security. But I'm not seeing this be necessary. But because of that sort of like natural reaction of the ego, it may be creating more of a sense of confusion than you even need to experience in the first place. So it feels like it's exacerbating this a bit. So even though you're going through something that feels unknown, if you can sort of like lift your hands off of the steering wheel right now and move it, sort of check in for a moment. Cause I feel like the way that you've been driving yourself may be motivated by a sense of resistance or a quest to uncover something that it's like not really time for this to make sense essentially or to be clarified and you can be doing everything to try to fight that like I don't like when things are like this and so I'm I'm gonna try to like figure it out anyway you know what I'm seeing is that you're being encouraged to rather than focus on that and then stay stuck within this of like I can't let this go because it still doesn't make sense I don't think that this is meant to be solved currently but what I am seeing is your guides being like why don't you focus on what's feeling energizing to you right now? Why don't you focus on expressing yourself? Why don't you focus on, it, it feels like if you move in the direction of like what feels warm to you or what is like sparking joy or just like something that you want to be doing because on a deeper level, you feel that sense of resonance within that and like thus feel connected because of that. I think when you shift your attention over in that direction, something else is going to get this moving in a way that may not be making sense yet right now. But this is gonna take you doing things a little bit differently. I'm seeing you feel uncomfortable. You're in like an unknown situation or like a new situation or something where you're like, I feel a little bit lost right now. You're meant to be. You're not meant to know all of what's going on here. What is the problem? 
I'm seeing Page of Wands, so Sun, right? That's, I'm, I'm focusing on expression. I'm focusing on, I'm basically like putting my energy where I enjoy putting my energy, where I like putting my energy. And it's, it's having me now get involved with a path that I feel like the light has been shining on. It's like the light has, yeah, been shining on a path that you are meant to be walking down. You would know this because you feel it inside. But it seems like it's also bringing up pain for some reason. Pain that's connected with the past is what I'm seeing. That may be throwing you off a little bit. Can we clarify? It's just because of the way that you're looking at it right now. You're not going to stay seeing it this way. But you could be in a spot where like, how could I see it any other way? So that's what I'm seeing is going on here. You're not going to stay looking at it like this. This is being brought up to help you process what is not yet processed. It's there. Because I'm seeing you be like, well, I can tell that I'm feeling like this. Or these are the types of thoughts that I'm having when I look over there. You know, that type of thing. But at the same time, like, it's not feeling good. So I'm not seeing you be like, you know this and you know what it is and you know, know how you're feeling. But I'm also seeing that you haven't, like, seen everything about this yet. Like, there are some angles that you haven't looked at this from yet. And that's going to change your overall perception of this. feels like one of those situations where okay feels like one of those situations where you like you know that you don't know something or you know that you haven't figured out something so it's not like I'm totally lost and confused it's kind of like you're looking at something and being like I'm having mixed feelings about this or like I'm not really clear completely and I think that part of you that feels very uncomfortable with that of like not really knowing what's going on yet because you haven't fully processed everything it's having you it's having you like tense up internally energetically and I'm not seeing that be necessary so it feels like recognizing where you're doing that and making this more difficult than it needs to be Right now, focus on things that are bringing you joy. Right now, you focus on things that bring about a sense of like optimism for you. Because I'm seeing you be like, well, I've been through things before and it's making me feel like I can't let go within this situation. But I'm seeing that it's just creating unnecessary anxiety. Like when I say unnecessary, I mean, you don't need to be experiencing it to this degree. The first step to sort of addressing this is finding out where are you still holding on when like the flow is going this way, where are you grabbing it and trying to force it in a different direction? That. Because this is like getting okay with something not making total sense yet. That, because you still need time to process this. Because, like, I'm seeing it. No, it doesn't make sense yet. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with something not making sense yet. You're just in a different type of space currently.
pay attention to interesting I'm seeing Sun and then I'm seeing page of cups here so this means that you don't even need to have any sort of agenda here with what you are focusing your energy on this just means that every time you're coming across something that like it feels good or you feel like you're resonating with it or you feel like energized by the thought of it or by focusing on that or you feel like self-assured or you feel a sense of optimism or you feel a sense of hope like those sorts of things when those things are popping up pay attention to how you feel there's something very significant about that so it's kind of like you going through your life right now you going through these moments and every time something is like sparking that within you it's tuning in and recognizing like how do i feel right now connecting in that way and that is going to tell you what path to walk it's like going to inform you of the path that you want to walk down let's use an example let's say that let's say that you're just like going about your day doing things and you're taking a, a stroll okay and as you're walking by this one store you see you know those like chalkboards that they have outside where it can say like the menu and stuff on it? You look at one of those and you see the most beautiful writing you've ever seen on it. And there's something within that that just like fills you up with joy. You feel so happy when you see that. It looks so beautiful. There's just something that it like brings out from within you. It feels like it connects to something within you. And you're like, okay, I'm noting that, that that felt significant to me for some reason. I don't necessarily understand why, but when I walked past that, it sparked something within me and I like the way that that felt. Like it put a smile on my face or I felt warm or I just like, I felt like, like I was connected in a way that I haven't been feeling connected. And then you go about your day and then it's like you go inside of, of, a cafe okay and when you're inside of the cafe you see a piece of art and it has calligraphy on it and you get that same feeling again you're gonna start and you note that right when you like go back home and you're reflecting like what were those things that I noticed today that I found today that I saw today that brought up that feeling for me one of them is that thing that had writing on it. The other thing is this, this piece of art with calligraphy. So you're gonna start making this connection of, oh, that's where I'm meant to be going. That's the path that I'm meant to be pursuing. That's something that's calling me right now. And so I'm seeing that by you sort of taking note and keeping track of these things, it's going to inform you without, you don't need to go out and be looking for something. Like you don't need to be finding this out yourself. When you're tuning in, it's going to tell you. So all you have to do is notice and be present enough that you're recognizing this because it's, it's shining a light on this path for you to be pursuing. So it's like, do things that you like doing, do things that you enjoy doing, things that are inspiring feelings of like hope, happiness, self-expression, warmth, joy, those types of things, laughter, creativity, inspiration, those sorts of things. Things that you love, things that you care about, things that you feel connected to. So you're just like going about your life, sort of trying to focus on those things. So that also means like, like I'm, I'm focusing my attention on like the positive things or the joyful things or the optimistic things. Cause you have lots of different things, lots of different options of what you can be focusing on, what you can be using your energy for. So by you paying attention to this and sort of like living, living your life and then making taking a note like when you feel these things it's then you're then going to in like writing this down or keeping track of it however it is that you're keeping track of it it's you're going to recognize this pattern and you're going to see that all of these seemingly random things that are bringing up joy for you or however else this is that you're codifying this 
and it's going to tell you that it's actually all interconnected and there's something that you can do with this and this is where you're meant to be going. So it's basically like being laid out for you already. So you don't need to go figure this out by yourself. This is you working with yourself and the feelings that you're getting and it's going to clarify for you. So this thing that's feeling confusing, it's not gonna say feeling confusing, but the reason why it doesn't make sense yet is because you're meant to be doing this. This is how you're meant to be figuring this out. I think too that there's something that, that makes you feel happy that you may want to go in the direction of, but it can also be bringing up some uncomfortable stuff for you. So I think that's also happening as well. Like it may have you like reliving something or feeling something that you're like, I don't like the way that this feels or I don't like how this is impacting me mentally, those types of things. But I'm seeing with you like centering yourself and concentrating and tuning in, because this feels also too like tuning in more so to what you're feeling rather than just your your brain running the show. and giving life to this. All right, can we get two more? There can also be this part of you that's like, yeah, maybe I recognize that I'm feeling like that, but Things haven't worked out for me in the past before. Or like I wanted to pursue this and it just didn't work before. So this is helping you face something that I don't think, it's not relevant now in a way where this type of situation is occurring now, but it's bringing, it's bringing up the same feeling. What's the best way to describe this? Let's say that when you were five, you did a talent show and you went up on stage and you like showed everybody something and you felt like it didn't go the way that you wanted it to go. And now, even though you can, now however old you are, even though when you think about that thing, you're like, yeah, I do naturally feel really interested in that or it does really bring me joy, but I'm remembering that time that like when I was at the talent show, it didn't go how I thought. Like people didn't receive it in the way that I wanted them to do. Too. And so now I just feel hurt when I think about it. I think you're just processing through something like that where in the past, I feel like you already know what this is. If you like tune in enough, it's just, this is going to be like reconfirmed for you. Cause this doesn't feel like a foreign concept in any way. This feels like something that you already sort of know you're interested in this or it like makes you happy when you're like around this or in this environment or doing this activity or watching other people do it, whatever this is, this path. And I think that this pain is coming up. It's associated with something from the past, but it's coming up now to be dealt with. And it has to do with where you limit yourself or where you think that things are not possible. And you're like, well, I had that situation as proof to sort of co-sign this belief system that I'm not able to do this, or that this isn't gonna work, you know, that type of thing. Even though this is something you're genuinely interested in, and if that's so, it's telling you that that's the direction you're meant to go in. Like it's a self-informing system in that way, but it's also bringing to light wounding and that feeling very uncomfortable. So you, you're basically going through something where, I don't know if you've realized this or not, but you already know what this is. The only reason there's confusion about whether or not to proceed with this is because of past pain that this is bringing up for you. So you may be like, well, if it's the right thing for me, why is this an unpleasant experience or why is this bringing up pain? It's not to deter you. It's so you can process this and continue doing this anyway. Because I'm seeing something that like, this is something that matters to you. This is like a path that if you knew that you couldn't fail and things would work out, you would be doing this already. It's that type of thing. And that's how you're going to know what this is for you. Because the only thing that's going to hold you back is 
your like negative belief system about this of like I can't do this or it's not going to work out or I'm not going to get the funding or how am I going to pay for that or people aren't going to support me or I don't have someone to teach me that those types of thoughts so I'm actually even though seven of cups is here where it's like I don't know if you're still telling yourself that you're confused about this but I'm not you're not confused about the path it's, I think it's more so about like why is there pain that's coming up too and again it's just for you to for you to address it that's why scared to invest but when you tune in you know that it's telling you to go in this direction so it's about listening to that if you dare to I'm seeing this be what's encouraged but because of your mixed feelings, you could have been like thinking that you were unsure about it, but I'm not seeing you be unsure about it actually. It just is bringing up stuff to be healed and that's why. This can also be like, like I think that I'm not good enough, you know, or like I haven't got the attention I think that I should have deserved. So maybe that's telling me that this is something that I shouldn't do. You know, it's like those types of thoughts that I'm seeing. It's like fear, like I'm scared or I don't think the universe is going to support this. You're being too controlling over this. You're basically... Um, What's the word that I'm looking for? There's an interfering that's happening. Because you're insisting, there's a sense of insistence here that's sort of taking away from the process. And that's this insistence that you have, that's what's slowing things down. That's what's making it more difficult. And that's also what's been making it more challenging to even come to this conclusion in the first place. What's coming to light for you now is this fear, is you recognizing where, you, where you're holding yourself back, where you're limiting yourself, even if you're like, it's not me, it's because on the outside it's not working. Like these are the things that you tell yourself, but it is ultimately you. So you're getting to this point where you're realizing like because I'm I'm scared because I'm worried about being vulnerable or expressing myself in this way or I feel like I was never recognized for this or I don't have the type of support that I want it's like all your reasons all your like reasons excuses whatever you want to label it as for like why this hasn't been being addressed can I just see a little more I just want to clarify this three of swords this can even come back to like you know the talent show thing this can come back to you when you were younger having some type of like ability or something that you were interested in and maybe you're like guardian or guardians or parents or parental figures or whatever like didn't support you you know like maybe didn't pay attention to you like maybe didn't validate this for you. And so you may be having a hard time doing that for yourself. So I think this has to do with you and what you like and what you actually want to be spending your time doing and knowing that you have like internally what you feel, it definitely supports that. So there's a sense of alignment, but reasons why you hold yourself back from doing those things. Maybe you felt like you weren't prioritized and that's where this is coming from. Something like that. This is an opportunity for you to connect with yourself on a deeper level and with whatever this is. Because you know that you feel happy when you think about this. Like this is what I want to create. This is what I want to be doing. This is mentally what I want to be involved in. This is energetically what I want to be involved in. This is a prime opportunity for you to do exactly that. So I think it's about 
facing what this is bringing up for you, rather than being deterred or running away, it's knowing that this is only coming up so it can be processed. And then when it's integrated, it's not gonna be a thing anymore. And all you'll have left is this beautiful, wonderful thing that you decided to invest in because that's what your heart spoke to you and you listened to that. Processing a somewhat tangled situation. I'm seeing you move through that. I'm seeing you really recognize how you've been feeling all along. And simultaneously, I'm seeing you be like, okay, I see what the work now is to do within this. It's where I've been scared of getting hurt. It's where I've been limiting myself. It's where I've been not believing in myself, like those sorts of things. And I'm seeing this is connected with something deeper too. I think this is connected to like a specific situation, event, could be something reoccurring that sort of reinforced this like negative belief pattern within you. This is such a beautiful situation because you're not only moving in the direction of where you're meant to be going, but you are also doing shadow work right now. You're doing healing work right now. So this is something that's allowing you to heal. This situation brings something up for you that hasn't been integrated and gives you the opportunity to face this and to heal it and to integrate it. Because you know this is what you want. So you're being encouraged to go for it even though this may feel uncomfortable because of how unfamiliar it is to you. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.